guys, welcome back to a new vlog on my channel. I just showered and got ready, made some coffee. I was really trying to take a caffeine break this week because I feel like my energy levels are so coffee dependent lately. But I think I picked the wrong week to do it. I just have a lot to do this week work-wise and I've just been a little too sluggish, so I caved. But if any of you guys have ever taken a caffeine break, I would love to hear how it's impacted you. And if you feel like it was helpful, I am ready and full fall attire today. I will show you my outfit a bit later on in this video. It's super gloomy outside and rainy. I probably will not be venturing out of my apartment today, but it always feels good to get ready anyways but i want to share with you guys some new season pieces that i just got in from farfetch they're actually sponsoring this video which is so exciting because i am a long time farfetch customer i also have a coupon code for you guys if you're looking to purchase something from farfetch you can use the code ffkaylee10 for 10 percent off your purchase i will have more information on that in the description box down below both of my new season pieces for this video were chosen from farfetch's positively conscious edit which i think a lot of you guys will be interested in because sustainability is such a huge focus in our community. I'm going to read you guys a little blurb about Positively Conscious. Positively Farfetch is our mission to become the global platform for good and luxury fashion, empowering everyone we work with to think, act, and choose positively. Each piece of clothing with the Positively Conscious tag has either been rated well by Good On You, the world's leading source for ethical fashion brand ratings, or is made with materials or has certifications widely recognized as conscious. So I think that's really great because a platform like Farfetch has so many products to choose from, which is amazing, but this is a really great way to narrow things down if you are trying to be a more conscious shopper. It certainly helped for me when I was picking pieces for this video, and I also think it's a really great way to learn about new brands that you might not already be familiar with. Another thing that I love about Farfetch is that they are such a supporter of small businesses. When you order something from Farfetch, it is likely coming from a small boutique or one of their brand partners all over the world. Farfetch helps many of these boutiques get online when they might not already have an online presence, which as I'm sure a lot of you guys know is so crucial in this time. Also, now Farfetch has a really amazing curation of pre-owned items on their website if you're looking to shop more secondhand. So now to get into these pieces, I'm gonna start with the shoes. I cannot wait to wear these more throughout the fall. I've already worn them a few times and I think that they're gonna go great with my outfit today. I will have both of these items linked down below for you guys if you're interested in checking them out and getting some more info to shop. These are Stella McCartney vegan leather platform boots. They are so cool. They also come in a shiny leather if that's something that you could be more interested in. They're such a statement piece. A great goth boot. And despite the high height, they're surprisingly comfortable because of the platform and really easy to put on because there's a zipper. And as such an animal lover, I'm so stoked that they're made without animal products. These will definitely be a staple piece in this year's fall wardrobe and probably for the years to come as well. And then I got this vegan leather bag by Nanushka. The leather is actually so buttery and soft. And this is a knot style bag. So it goes just on your hand like this. Definitely more of a chic bag for when I don't need to carry very many things. Going out to dinner on any other kind of date, I think it will be lovely. So I'm gonna be wearing some of these pieces throughout this vlog so you guys can get a better look at them. But I'm really, really excited to add some more vegan leather to my wardrobe because I've been trying to branch off from real leather for a while now and it's not secondhand. So again, if you guys are looking to make a Farfetch purchase, I have a coupon code for you for 10% off and that is ffkb 10 and I will have more info in the description box down below. Thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring me on this video. Now I am gonna go show you my outfit with these boots. Here is a look at my outfit today. I am wearing this Rick Owens jacket with a Rick Owens one shoulder tank underneath. And then I'm wearing the brown waxed poplin skirt from my brand Stotts Ballet. We still have some of these in stock if you guys are interested. And then I'm wearing the Stella McCartney boots, which are so, so cool. There's a bit of a better close up for you guys. I feel like the sole they used is also kind of bouncy. So that makes them even more comfortable. And I love a square toe so basically the vegan boots my dreams and then for jewelry i'm also wearing some pieces for my own brand these are our matte oxidized silver hoops and then our ear cuff i think we'll still have ear cuffs in stock by the time this video goes up but i'm thinking the hoops might sell out today so hopefully if you guys are interested you are able to get a hold of them because i'm not sure when they're gonna be 
back in stock but i've loved seeing all of your photos so far i'm thinking that i might actually go take a photo of myself on self timer or attempt to because i'm really digging this outfit and i need to post more on instagram so you guys i just took this instagram photo and here i am on facetune and i thought i would show you guys how i'm editing this i use facetune a lot i don't really use it on me per se but i'm always correcting my surroundings with facetune if i have a pimple or like a very like loose hair that looks bad or something like that i will fix it but i've never like fixed my body if you know what i mean but in this photo for example i had some neon yellow slippers that i forgot to take off the ground so i just took them out i didn't do the best job but it's definitely not something that you would notice when you're just scrolling through instagram and editing out colors like that on facetune is actually kind of hard so i am proud of my work i'm always taking like any scratches or marks off the wall or ground um i always take outlets off the wall or like any holes because i just don't think it's pleasant to look at and i like things to look pretty clean there's some insight into my instagram just gonna be doing some work on my computer for a little while and then i'm gonna make lunch so it's already almost 3 p.m i don't know how that happens sometimes but i thought i would share with you guys a new addition to my office i recently got a real office chair so i can be a real human now i was so hesitant to get a real office chair for so long because i always want things to be cute this isn't the cutest chair by any means but i have been so much more comfortable since i've been sitting in this because i'm at my desk most of my day like i'm sure a lot of us are and a comfortable supportive chair is extremely important my back's also been bothering me lately so that really made me make the switch i just picked this up on craigslist yesterday actually it's originally from ikea and you know what? It works. It has upholstery and mesh, and this is what I'm working with for right now. I just didn't really want to spend a lot of money on an office chair. There are definitely nicer ones that I like, but I just want to have a functional space since I'm in here all the time. For lunch, I am going to make some sweet potato fries. I just tossed these in some garlic and paprika and salt. I took them out early because it seemed like they were burning. There are still nine minutes left on the automatic time, but I just tried one that wasn't burnt and it was quite good. So admittedly not my best presentation, but I did a Beyond Sausage with some peppers and onions and then I made some vegan sriracha moo to go with the sweet potato fries. I thought I would give you guys a little update on my room since some things have changed since I've started redecorating it and kind of tell you my plan. So I got new darker bedding. This is just a black Hawkins New York quilt with some linen sheets. I moved my office lamp in here and then I wanna hang my lamp for my other bedroom. That's a wall lamp over there and I need a new side table. And then I think I'm getting a floor lamp from a company that I'm working with to put here. And then I want a little credenza dresser situation and i might put a tv in here i'm normally against tv in the bedroom but i've been heavily considering it and then that will cover up all of the ugly sort of wall plugs and i would like to get something to put this lily plant on as well and i just have some books on the floor with this pest reject thing in my wall i don't know if those work but I think they're maybe doing a good job in my apartment with mice. And then some of my most worn shoes here. So I just changed into cozier clothes and I'm about to make dinner with my boyfriend. I think we're doing buffalo cauliflower tacos. Good morning, you guys. I have some errands to run this morning. I already have to move my car because it's street cleaning today. Here is my outfit for errands today. It's a bit cooler outside, so I am fully taking advantage of it. This blue velvet sort of duster is by Colleen Estrada. And then I'm wearing this Rick Owens dress. Stotts Bella earrings and ring. I have this headband in my hair to keep my hair out of my face. And then I have the new Nanushka bag that I got from Farfetch and some sandals that are by The Last Conspiracy. I have to wear my glasses when I drive because I'm basically blind. I actually have an appointment to get new glasses 
and a new prescription next week because these are like seven years old <laughs> so i think i should probably get a new one but i just dropped off at the post office and picked up some returns and exchanges from our p.o box and now i'm going to whole foods So I got two blocks of extra firm tofu. I haven't been making tofu for a while because my oven hasn't been working, but I'm so excited to try this in the air fryer. I needed some more oat milk for my coffee. I am completely obsessed with this Kite Hill cream cheese. And then I also got two things of Kite Hill vanilla yogurt, mini corn dogs. I'm gonna try these in the air fryer. And I haven't had anything from Field Roast in a while. And then I got some taco seasoning. I've been making tacos a lot. And this is just easy. I know it's not the best option though. And then I got some Cliff Bars for hiking this weekend. Two things of tulips. These caught my eye near checkout. It is six chocolate chip cookies. Definitely didn't need those. I've also been loving these lately. They're the So Delicious Dipped Coconut Almond Bars. I also have like double chocolate ones that are really good. I used to not like coconut, but lately it is such a thing for me. I got some blackberries. I also know that Driscoll's isn't the best to buy, but they didn't have any other options. Got some zucchini for when I make zucchini noodles. Peppers, jalapeno, a white sweet potato. And then I got some okra. I wanna try this in the air fryer too. I got some of these Dave's Killer Bread Buns. I've actually never tried these before. Canola oil and ketchup. More cauliflower for cauliflower wings. Two things of crushed tomato with basil for pasta sauce. Some Beyond Burgers. Then I got two soups because it's starting to get colder outside and these are always like an easy lunch meal. So I got the Amy's Chunky Tomato Bisque and the butternut squash soup. I love making soup as well, but sometimes it can be time consuming if you're not meal prepping. I've been watching Emily June's vlogs and she said that she really likes these, so I wanted to try some. So I got the vintage Kula Olipop and also the strawberry vanilla and two kombuchas, pineapple peach and tart cherry. And that's my haul. I'm making all my flower bouquets. Some of my lilies still have some life left in them, so I'm gonna keep in the base. Add in my new tulips. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I made a piece of whole wheat sourdough toast with some of that Kite Hill everything cream cheese and berries and a coffee. I just packed up some international orders for DHL to come pick up today. I always love getting international orders. It's so cool to see where our stuff is going, especially when it's like to a country that does it. Primarily speak English, I feel like that's even cooler. Everyone's cool. But it's so interesting for me to see. We started using DHL solely for our business for international shipping because during the pandemic, USPS kind of just went under in terms of international shipping. And we ended up having to process like 10 grand in international refunds for lost packages and we never got that inventory back. And that was just a good learning experience the only other time we've had something like that happen with shipping is at the very start of our business we were using a fulfillment center and the pricing just ended up being so much higher than what was agreed upon and we couldn't really do anything about it in the end but we lost a similar amount of money then but now we use dhl express and we pretty much never have issues and customers get their packages super quickly for that we charge 25 dollars flat or it's free on orders over 250 dollars and today we have packages going to new zealand canada japan Denmark, Australia, and Germany. But lately, we've been sending a lot of packages to Asia, which is really cool, like Singapore and Japan. Thank you guys so much if you have ordered anything from us. I'm gonna keep working for the day, and then I think I'm gonna try to do some laundry after this pickup happens. I'm eating taco leftovers from last night. So we have this vegan meat that we made with some Beyond Meat and vegan meatballs and onion and garlic, and then our buffalo cauliflower. And I made some vegan sour cream with just veganaise and lime juice and garlic and some lettuce and refried beans. And I'm so excited to eat this again. And I'm gonna try one of the Olipops.
I'm currently in my car waiting on my laundry to be done. I just did some more shopping. I picked up some natural wines. I thought I would show you guys. I got this natural red and I also got this orange. I haven't had orange wine that much, but I always like it when I have it. Never had either of these before, so we'll see. 